Happy Mother's Day. You know, uh, Mother's Day is uh, a thing. Well, my mom would tell me that every day is Mother's Day because she has a wonderful son like me. <laughs> uh, it got me thinking a little bit about how a lot of times magic moms are the reason we play this game. And for me, my mom absolutely helped me play this game when I was young when she had no idea what the game even was, when our church was telling her that it was like devil games. She would drive me to the car shop and let me play magic. And I'm super thankful for that. Who knows what I'd be doing if they were not cool with it. We bring uh, my mom's Mother's Day gift, which is a new birdhouse and a bunch of birdhouse food. Look at all these dandelions. Oh, I'm going to bust my dad's chops. He just got out of the hospital, though. <laughs> I'm still going to do it. It'll be the first words out of my mouth. All right, all right, hold on. Come here, bud. Come here. <laughs> hey, right here. Sit. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Lay down. <laughs> Roll over. <laughs> yeah. Go get it. And now he poops. <laughs> and he's waiting for his, patiently waiting for his pig's ear. So hold on. <laughs> What's up with all these dandelions? I know. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh. Well, she loved her gift, but she's always uh, very appreciative of whatever. So she's good like that. Thought, she's a thought that counts kind of lady, you know, which I appreciate. It's kind of how I am too now. But I was trying to find some pictures of us together and we were going through albums and we kind of realized that she was the one holding the camera the whole time. So we didn't have, a, there was hardly any pictures of her and I together. Uh, I snapped some pictures of some of them, so hopefully. Hopefully I find them, but, uh, or hopefully they'll be interesting. That's not really a nay, is it? Okay, so as you can see, my garage is a mess, but there's my claw machine. And there's my drill matic that need needs to get repaired, but, uh, as I try to figure out this pressure washer situation. Um, you know, with it being Mother's Day and everything, obviously it's on my mind, but I gotta admit, like, 
When I was young, it was my mom that drove me to the card shop. It was my mom who snuck me a $5 bill to buy booster packs. Not that my dad didn't want me playing the game, but my dad would have said, you know, go play football or something instead of this stupid devil's card game or whatever, you know? And then I'm reminded of a story many years later. So it was because of my mom's support that, or my mom's open-mindedness, uh, that I'm even playing the game today, I guarantee it, you know? And um, even two years ago, okay, <laughs> my poor mom had to go into the card shop. She bought me magic cards for Christmas, which was awesome. Um, I think it was like Origins or something like that. But just the thought of <laughs> my poor mom walking into a card shop and asking them, Hey, I need to get some packs of magic cards. And they're probably like, oh my God. But she bought me some and gave them to me for Christmas. And I thought that was awesome. Um, she knew that I was doing like the YouTube channel and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I'm reminded of all the stories of the pro players and the grinders who, you know, their, their moms or their dads are driving them to events, borrowing them money to fly places to compete, things like that. I mean, uh, maybe I'll do a Father's Day. So I don't want to say dads don't help because they do. But this is about moms, magic moms. And um, I think it's a great time to just remind ourselves to be thankful for the support of our moms playing games that they probably don't understand. Although it's probably better nowadays. You know, when I, when I was a kid, you know, when I started playing, it was 1993, 1994, I was like, 10 or something like that, um, 10, 11, 12 in that area. And that was like right around the time when literally, I th I'm pretty sure our church put out a flyer about Magic the Gathering, about not letting your kids play it because of the pentagram on dark on uh, unholy strength or something like that. And my parents were like level-headed enough to be like, it's a stupid car game. I mean, I don't think it's stupid, but in their, their opinion, they didn't freak out about it, you know? And uh, I'm real thankful for that because magic has given me so much in life. And if I didn't have her support, um, I probably never would have started or I never would have stuck with it. Um, and one thing that always stuck with me that my, my parents, both my parents would always say, especially my mom, and this still holds true today in 2016. So here's some good mom advice for you. A card's only worth what someone's willing to pay for it. So that was a big thing when I was young. I was like, this is a $7 card. And she's like, oh, will someone give you $7 for it? I'm like, no. You know, so uh, there's some good mom, mom, uh, mom logic. I'm going to see if I don't uh, blow something up with this pressure washer. And then I'm going to keep thinking about my mom. Well, I got it working. You can see it's doing something. <laughs> Just to give you an example of what it was before. Isn't that crazy? So this is a gift from my mother-in-law, so I figured uh, I'd honor her by using it. And now I think I'm kind of addicted to power washing things. I've got a long way to go on this porch, but I ran out of gas. And I know I want to give the water some time to not leak into my basement if I possibly can. So we're going to go get some gas. Don't forget to call and wish your, uh, your moms a happy Mother's Day tomorrow. If your mom was cool with you in magic, maybe just let her know that's what's up. Because whew, not a lot of moms are that cool with it. And uh, I don't know. We don't, we don't say thanks to our moms anywhere near enough. So this has been a kind of a different wanderlust, but I've had fun shooting it and look at me. But uh, house will be clean for Mother's Day.
What's up and thanks for watching this video. I produce all different kinds of content, so if you haven't yet, click on my face to subscribe. If you want to watch more videos, I've got some sweet playlists, including this one, where I open up every fat pack ever created. I've also got this one over here where I open just about anything vintage and old and expensive for your enjoyment. And all this is made possible by the awesome backers at our Patreon, which is linked in the description of every video. Hop on over there, check it out, see if it's something you might want to consider. If not, sit back, enjoy, and I'll still love you.